Hello everyone, my name is Denise. This morning my title is called, This is Not Natural. But before I do so, I'd like to explain to you some of the different ways that I hear from the Lord. And the reason I'll be doing this is because many times I hear prophets or prophetic people would come and they would say that I've heard from the Lord. And I myself would wonder, how did this person hear from the Lord? Was it through a dream, a vision? How did they hear? And so for this reason, I'll be explaining to you. Also to help anyone who may be interested in the prophetic and how it works. Okay, I hear from the Lord audibly, just as I'm speaking now and you can hear me. This is one of the ways that I hear from the Lord. I also hear through dreams and visions. There are also times when I'd have a download of information where I would know everything that's happened as if I was there when the events took place. Okay, those are some of the ways that I hear from the Lord. Right, before I begin, I also would like to do a short prayer with you. Lord Jesus, I thank you. Thank you this morning again, Father. This is a day that you've given unto us, another day, O oh God. I give you glory, honour and praise that is due unto your mighty name. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, that you will use me, that you will speak through me, that I will speak only the things that you desire of me right now to speak, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord Jesus, I pray for your children, that you will bring them comfort, O oh God, that you will bring them peace, my God. I pray the peace of the Lord be upon your children at this time in this troubled world that we are living in. Lord Jesus, remember your people right now. I pray in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, for every soul, Father God, that will hear your word, O oh God. I pray, Lord Jesus, that souls will be saved for your kingdom. Lord Jesus, I pray, God, and I bless them. The blessing of the Lord be upon them. Lord Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Lord Jesus, as they receive you right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Father, for your children, those who have been supporting me on this channel, who have been working along with me, oh God. Lord Jesus, I thank you. And for those who you're about to send, oh God, I thank you for them. I pray your blessing will be upon them, oh God. I pray, Father God, that you will show yourself, reveal yourself as you've revealed yourself unto me, oh God. Lord Jesus, I pray for them. Lord Jesus, I pray that you will cover them and bless them right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And I tell you thanks. Oh God, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. Right, okay, as I've said this morning, my title is called This Is Not Natural, and I'll be talking about gangs. On the 2nd of January, 22, I heard and saw in the spiritual realm where many gangs are rising up. So many gangs are rising up in the spiritual realm. These are young youths who will be into all sorts of crimes, including anything from murder to robbery, etc. I heard them being recruited in the spiritual realm. So these gangs are being recruited in the spiritual realm and I heard them planning there are many gangs already that we have in our communities, but I heard that there will be an influx. I heard an influx of gang and I saw this in the spiritual realm. Some of them are, you know, joining these gangs because they want status, some want money, some want to feel a part of something. And so let us pray for them and reach out to them at this time. The devil is on the rampage at this time. He is on the rampage and he is recruiting these young youths to commit evil. And they too are dying. 
They are dying not because it's their time to die, but because of these crimes that they are involved in. And this is how the devil works. This is how the devil works. In the spiritual realm is where good and evil takes place. That's where it all takes place. But as believers, we have authority and we have powers over all these demonic activities and these demonic entities. The Lord has allowed me to hear and to see all of this because he knows that this will be a problem to us in our societies. And so let us take it, you know, as it is not for granted that the Lord is revealing this information to us. It will be a problem to us. And so let us pray. Pray against the plans of the enemies. Pray against the plan of the enemy and let us not take it for granted. For the Lord is revealing it unto us before that we can take action, take the rightful action that is needed against the plans of the enemy. Under no circumstances should we see this as, as natural, for this is not natural. This is spiritual. It is spiritual. It is taking place spiritually. And so let us take action. The word of the Lord tells us, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. We are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are not wrestling against each other that we see here. In the physical, the scripture also tells us that, you know, the, the people, God's people perish for lack of knowledge. You know, they perish for lack of knowledge. For we do not realize that we are, some of us do not realize that we are fighting a spiritual battle. And let us, you know, not fight in the natural. Let, let us not be carnal minded when it comes to these spiritual things. For they are not natural things. For the enemy doesn't fight us in the physical. The enemy fights us in the spiritual where we cannot see. You know, we cannot see the enemy here in the physical realm. The enemy is fighting us and, and many people are dying in the spiritual realm because of what the enemy is up to. The enemy recruits these people. They, they recruit people. And those who are carrying out the work of the devil is those here in the physical realm. He uses these people here to carry out these things. And these people are around us laughing and joking with us. You know, but they are causing havoc in the spiritual realm where we cannot see them. And so let us pray and ask the Lord to open up our spiritual eyes that we can see what is taking place. I've seen many fights in the spirit realm. I've seen many people dying in the spiritual realm because of what is done. It takes place in the spiritual realm, as I've explained to you, before it does here in the physical realm. Nothing happens here before it does in the spiritual realm. And so this is how the enemy is attacking us and attacking our youths and using them to commit crimes and to commit murders. You know, these are the things that are happening. And so let us not be carnal minded, but let us realize what we are wrestling, what we are fighting against. And let us pray. Prayer is the, the key to fighting and destroying the plan of the enemy. But we also have to be aware also of what the enemy is doing, of how the enemy works. You know, we have to know how he works to be able to tackle the enemy. So I pray that you will ask the Lord for wisdom, ask him for an understanding of how the enemy is attacking so that we can intervene and that we can pray accordingly you know, to cancel the plans of the enemy because it will affect us here in the physical realm when all these gangs are rising up at this time like nothing that we've ever seen before. And so let us pray against it and cancel every plan of the enemy. 
Okay, these are my few words for today. But I would like to say, if there's anyone who don't know Jesus as their personal saviour, I want to encourage you this morning to seek the Lord, to turn to him before it's too late for you. Tomorrow is not promised to you. It's not promised to any of us. And you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to receive the Lord, to turn to him before it's too late for you. There are also those who are still professing the faith, but they are lukewarm. They have one foot in and one foot out, still doing the things of this world and the things of God. I want to encourage you this morning to turn away from the things of the world and seek the Lord today, remembering that we are representatives of Christ Jesus. And so let us live a life that is pleasing, that is worthy and that is acceptable unto the Lord, that his name will be glorified and that souls will be saved for the kingdom of God. And so let us not live according to the world, you know, separate, let us separate ourselves from the things of this world and let our light shine that men will see our good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. There are also those who were once with Christ, but they've now turned away from the faith. I want to encourage you this morning to turn to him again, to seek him before it's too late for you. As I've said, tomorrow is not promised to any of us and you could die in your sins at any time. And so I want to encourage you this morning to seek the Lord today before it's too late for you. Thank you for listening. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.